All right. Good evening and welcome to the session on novels of Nathaniel Hawthorne. In my last lecture with you, I took a biographical sketch of Nathaniel Hawthorne so that you can appreciate his works better. Now, we will be looking at his novels one by one so that you can attempt any question in UGC net which is asked from his novels, characters and other details related to his works. Uh, I have already in my last lecture with you, I have already given you summary of his first novel. Can you tell me which is that novel? Which is his first novel? I'm getting no response. Don't, did you not revise what was taught last week? Was it not Fanshawe? Am I right? I hope I am audible. Fanshawe, ma'am. Fanshawe. Did you not revise that? Please revise. Okay. So now in today's lecture, I'll be talking about his very popular romance called The Belithidal Romance. Okay. Have, so let me walk you through this. Okay. Now The Belithidal Romance, it was again his very popular novel and it was published in the year 1842. Please make it a point. Please make a mental note of it. This novel was published in the year 1852. Okay, before I uh, walk you through the summary and other aspects of the novel, let me give you a brief outline of what are you supposed to study when you are studying work of a novelist. Okay, because there are some of the novels which you'll have to study on your own. So you should know when you are studying a novel, which details are important. Okay, the f f so let's say you are studying the Belithidale romance. The first thing is that does pay attention to the title. If it has a subtitle, it becomes important from point of view of examination. Right. So make it a point to remember the sub just someone is trying to join. So. Okay, so when you are studying a novel, the first thing you have to pay attention to is the subtitle. Okay, if it has a subtitle, remember the exact subtitle. If it doesn't have a subtitle, remember that the title has no subtitle. This is the first thing. The next thing you have to pay attention to is the publication history of the novel or of the work. Okay, which year it was published. Okay. Um, what is the background story or uh, of its public publication let's say uh, did the did the author retain the title he had initially thought of because at times the uh, the writers they modify the title so if there is any such information related with the novel please remember that so publication and its publication history you should know that so this Belithidale romance this was published in 1852 the next is the characters so you should remember the characters you should pay attention to the major character as well as the minor characters okay and after characters comes the summary of the novel okay so uh, please have an idea about the structure of the novel that how many chapters it has and how it is divided who is the narrator what kind of narrative is used Okay, so these are some, the st these are the structural aspects of the novel which you should know. And then comes the summary. So now that is the plot from A to Z, that is from the starting to the end. You have to familiar familiarize yourself with that. After that, you should also learn some important quotations 
from the novel and when i say learn it doesn't mean that you have to memorize them word for word what you have to do is you should know that these important lines these important quotations they appear in this particular work okay so what how can you do that it's not possible for you to read the entire work so what you can do is once you know the summary okay once you have gone through the summary just google okay important quotations from that particular work and give it a reading just read spend at least 10 minutes on reading quotations from that work okay which character said that okay when did those lines appear uh, what do they mean what is their importance in the novel try to uh, learn that okay you should also know a little about the critical reception of the work what critics have said about that particular work okay and then finally you should attempt some mcqs on that work it hardly takes half an hour so uh, you know you got to devote at least half an hour to each uh, uh, important work okay uh, so what what did i tell you subtitle publication history characters summary quotations and critical re reception finally some mcqs this is how you have to proceed now let's begin so the bilithidale romance it does not have a subtitle as such publication it was published in the year 1852 okay 19th century and which year 1852 okay Uh, uh let me give you a let me share a trick with you so that you can remember the year uh, you will have to remember five okay and this title it has two words forget about the article the two words so remember that the publication year had two in the end so this is how you can remember it 1852 now if we talk about what the the theme what is it based on okay so uh, this novel of nathaniel hawthorne it is actually modeled on the transcendental utopian uh, society of that time okay so uh, nathaniel hawthorne he got to spend some time in one such society which is called brook farm right brook farm it was in boston massachusetts and uh, it was the hub of transcendental writers at that time and since nathaniel hawthorne's wife she was also a member of transcendental club so he also um, got acquainted with the members of this particular club and he ended up spending some time in the brook farm okay which is the hub of transcendental writers so he came to know about their ideas their way of life and this became this experience of living at a brook farm became the raw material for this novel okay and in this novel okay in, instead of brook farm we have a fictional uh, place called blith blithdale farm and uh, the title of the novel takes after this particular place okay and this is the setting of the entire novel what is it blithdale farm okay what is it it is actually an agrarian educational community you can think of it as an ideal community an ideal society which was far removed from the civilization of that time people earned their bread and butter uh, from farming okay they were surrounded by natures they lived a very simple life they had um, they uh, used to think about the welfare of entire humanity so humanitarian missions okay they were important to them so it was that kind of a society which was uh, in a way based on the experimental utopian ideals of transcendental movement and their writers okay uh, try to uh, look at this image because when we associate images with words we remember better okay so remember brook farm okay this is which is the model for blithdale farm which is the setting of blithdale romance i hope this is clear to everyone 
yes or no give me a quick response so that we can proceed yes ma'am yes, ma okay 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 let's move on to the characters now okay uh, luckily for us it is not flooded with characters the first character is miles coverdale okay who also happens to be the narrator and when we remember this miles coverdale uh, in the rest of my explanation i'll be using only the second name coverdale okay he is the chief the primary narrator and in this novel narration temporarily switches to another character but that is for a very brief period of time for the remaining uh, entire novel coverdale remains the narrator okay and we can also you will learn a great deal about each of these characters when we will study the summary for the time being i would like to introduce you to this one word which is voyeur v o y e u r okay so you can associate the term voyeur with coverdale now who is a voyeur a voyeur is someone who loves to peep into or observe private lives of people he or she is surrounded with so if you take a great deal of interest in private lives of other people if you observe their private lives and uh, remunerate th ponder over that then you are a voyeur so miles coverdale is a voyeur okay next is old moody uh, i'll tell you about it you will read uh, more about it in the summary old moody next is the veiled lady okay another character is the veiled lady i am not uh, giving you much information here otherwise uh, you know this novel is a romance as well as a suspense novel so i want that suspense to remain intact next is hollingsworth hollingsworth is another character and this character is supposedly modeled on two two people two real life people one is horace man okay horace man who, who was he he was an educational reformer right and the second character is a well known character ralph waldo emerson who was a poet and philosopher and both of horace man as well as ralph waldo emerson they were chief figures of transcendental movement okay and um, nathaniel hawthorne he was personally acquainted with both these figures so he has modeled the character of hollingsworth on man and emerson theek hai agar exam mein aa jata hai to pata hona chahiye fir hai silas foster and mrs foster ye minor characters hain they are farmers living on blythedale farm theek hai next character is zenobia zenobia i have used image of this girl here so that you can make a mental image of you can form a mental uh, image of this character zenobia okay she is believed to be modeled on famous transcendental writer and feminist who was also a feminist character margaret fuller okay margaret fuller so uh, critics believe that zenobia uh, was modeled on margaret fuller okay uh, in the novel when uh, zenobia is introduced she is shown as a girl of exquisite beauty and charm and she charms everyone who happens to meet her and uh, she is really beautiful and she wears an exotic flower in her hair and every day she wears a new flower but she wears just one flower okay so just remember this image and it will help you form a mental image of genobia okay next we have prescella prescella okay i she is a very uh, demure very shy or uh, docile kind of a person very obedient okay you can see is as uh, i would say an alter ego of genobia okay she is everything which genobia is not okay genobia is full of pride she is full of vitality she is 
very energetic and she takes great interest in life and its pleasure on the contrary priscilla uh, is very withdrawn and shy but she also has a mystery about her okay and finally we have Pro professor westervelt okay professor westervelt main characters are coverdale uh, will uh, hollingsworth genobia and priscilla okay so i hope you know i'll repeat these names a lot of times so much so that by the end of this lecture you will be able to remember them any question from the character or is it clear right no ma'am okay clear yes let's move on to the next character now who is who is the next character is coverdale okay and coverdale is okay after the coverdale uh, i mean not after the coverdale we i am going to start with the summary now <coughs> here's the summary okay so how does the novel begin that is always important whenever you are studying a novel two details are pretty important first <coughs> how the novel begins and how the novel ends okay so you should always read the exact lines with which the novel begins and exact lines with which the novel ends okay so this novel it begins with the narrator coverdale okay he is on the street and he bumps into old moody this old moody this character it makes a lot of appearance in the novel it appears disappears it appears again okay and then finally so they have, so this moody he goes up to coverdale and he looks like a beggar okay and he uh, ask for a favor from him so i am reading this exact lines uh, they appear in on page 3 of chapter 1 okay so just listen to them very attentively if you please mr coverdale said mr moody you might do me a very great favor a very great one repeated i theek hai see i notice this i this i is the narrator and the narrator is mr coverdale repeated i in a tone that must have expressed but little alacrity of beneficence although i was ready to do the old man any amount of kindness involving no special trouble to myself a very great favor do you say my time is brief mr moody and i have a good many preparations to make but be good, good enough to tell me what you wish okay so this novel begins with a conversation between coverdale and moody moody asks for a favor so you may get a question that uh, in the beginning of blithedale romance what does mr moody asks for from coverdale so the answer would be a great favor but what happens is before mr coverdale could ask him mr moody he saw an old more experienced man and he moved on to him okay so this is how it proceeded next is so i have uh, told you what is the opening next is the legend of the whale lady is introduced okay uh, what next is uh, we come to know about the narrator Uh, it tells us about the legend of the whale lady and this whale lady uh, she is a clair clairvoyant who is a clairvoyant a clairvoyant is someone who can see in distant future bolte hain jaise jo bhavishya dekh sakte hain clairvoyant okay so this whale lady she was a clairvoyant but uh, she has stopped making public appearance public shows now and she has disappeared mysteriously okay so uh, then the narrator tells us that the narrator coverdale he lives in a city okay now coverdale or uh, after that coverdale leaves for blithedale okay he lives in a city but he wants to uh, you know get away from the hustle and bustle of city life so he has heard about this community which is uh, far away from the hustling bustling city life it is like a utopian society where most of the people they do farming 
they they talk about education and human humanitarian deeds okay so he wants to go there to rejuvenate to experience that experimental way of life so he goes there so what kind of community this agrarian farm uh, has agrarian agricultural and educational okay there he goes and he meets silas foster and mrs foster and genobia okay so these people they live there and he gets to meet them there okay now uh, there is a community dinner so a community dinner is held there in which um, you know community members they are invited so that they get to interact so the a community dinner is going on and they are interrupted by hollingsworth okay hollingsworth another chief character who is this Holling, hollingsworth this hollingsworth he is actually an acquaintance of mr coverdale so he is also from a city mr coverdale he already knows him but when he leaves for blithedale he didn't tell him okay he came on his own and he is really surprised when hollingsworth also turns up at the community dinner and he is not alone okay he has brought a girl named prusquella with her and in the entire novel her age is not revealed okay and uh, she is it it appears that she is coming to the blithdale community blithdale farm for the first time because no one recognizes her there okay and in her very first meeting she feels a fondness attachment towards genobia okay uh, everyone who meets Gen- genobia see um, uh, hollingsworth is meeting genobia for the first time so is coverdale and so is prescella okay and they all are charmed by her beauty okay then next is okay then what happens next is uh, coverdale falls sick okay and he becomes bedridden and while he is bedridden two people take care of him one is his um, acquaintance hollingsworth and another one is genobia who he met in the farm okay genobia so these people they nurse him they take care of him and then he recovers he uh, restores his health what happens next see the plot is developing and i have uh, broken down the plot into points for you so that it becomes easier for you to remember it in stepwise manner otherwise it is a bit confusing because it is a suspense novel also okay then what happens is um, we hear the rumors of a possible romantic association between genobia and hollingsworth hollingsworth is also a young man okay almost the age of coverdale and genobia is also a young girl young pretty girl so we hear of uh, uh, po- uh, rumors of possible romance between the two okay genobia and hollingsworth remember we are seeing everything from the eyes of coverdale okay and um, you know he is talking about something this narration is narration of events which happened years back okay then what happens is uh, all of a sudden old moody again makes a reappearance okay and he inquires about relationship of genobia and prescella he knows that coverdale uh, is acquainted with genobia and prescella and he appears there and he ask him that okay so these two girls how are they okay and uh, coverdale he tells him that okay they are very friendly towards each other and, and like that and then coverdale meets then one day coverdale is going he has gone for a walk okay and he meets this new character whose name is professor westervelt okay professor westervelt and in the very first meeting he develops a kind of dislike towards him and he hears him speak to genobia right and uh, it looks like genobia and um, this westervelt it looks like they are having an argument and he assumes that they might be lovers from the past 
okay so by this time have you met all the characters tell me have you met all the characters by this time or not i think so na okay yes. okay yes you have met all the characters okay next is so good that you have met all the characters let's see how the plot develops after that what happens is uh, these people hollingsworth and coverdale okay they keep meeting at a point called eliot pulpit there is a point in this uh, blithdale farm on this blithdale farm there is this huge rock which is like a meeting point for people so this is called eliot's pulpit so these people they meet there they discuss uh, uh, their way, the, the the life on blithdale farm they discuss philosophies uh, their views on women rights okay remember uh, the character of genovia she is based on a feminist character margaret fuller so there are bound to be some discussion about uh, women rights because transcendental writers they were very uh, passionate about female rights women right and the place of women in a society so these people they meet they discuss philosophies and um, hollingsworth is he has some misogynistic views okay which are surprisingly supported by genovia who is otherwise a feminist character okay so one day they had a heated argument and then coverdale he became very angry and he has decided to leave blithdale farm and he moves to the city so in a way this character who is from the city he comes to blithdale farm he meet people there he um, gets their acquaintance and one day he decided to leave the leave uh, for the city now he stay he is staying there in a hotel right and then he is just standing in the balcony of the hotel and he peeps out and there is this boarding house okay and in the window of the boarding house he catches glimpses of prescella and in the drawing room of the boarding house are sitting uh, genovia and westerwelt okay and he sees them and they notice him back and they are very embarrassed so he decided decides to go and meet them i mean we don't know why is he so curious why he couldn't just let it go but he decided to go and meet them and there he asked them about priscilla okay he asked them that if priscilla is with them and they agree to that and then they they uh, you know they tell him that they have to leave right they bring in a sense of urgency and they tell him that they have to leave and then they leave and the next what uh, what we witness next is there is a show of veiled lady going on okay and um, this coverdale he also goes there right and when he goes there because now he has already met some characters so he recognizes westerwell who is on the stage a veiled lady is standing and next to her uh, is a magician so this westerwell he can hypnotize hypnotize is a magician okay he is standing next to her and in the audience he also locates hollingsworth okay so he walks over to hollingsworth and he asks him that where is priscilla okay because he has already met westerwell hollingsworth and genovia so the only character left is priscilla so he asks her where is priscilla now what happens is this hollingsworth he walks over to the stage and he lifts the veil okay and when he lifts the veil everyone is pretty surprised because this veiled lady is no other than priscilla okay and uh, when it happens everyone is surprised okay and this uh, in in a half half situation uh, genovia westerwelt and priscilla they all leave for blithdale right so what have you i hope you have you are following uh, the summary right i hope you are not getting entangled in the characters and what's happening is it crystal clear to you from beginning to up to the point we have discussed
Hmm? Tell me, folks, is it clear? Are you following the summary? I I am not getting any response. I don't know if you're with me or not. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Which yes. one? All right. So now, because this is an important turning point, okay, that, uh, you know, in the city, uh, this character, Coverdale, he learns the real identity of the veiled lady, okay, and all these people, they leave for Blithdale, except for Coverdale, okay. Now, um, old Moody, he reappears, and now he tells Coverdale that, you know, he, now he reveals his real identity. He tells him that, that once he was a very prosperous man and he is, his name was Fontelleroy. Okay, so this was um, his real name before he adopted this uh, new name, Old Moody. And uh, his wealth ruined, he fell from grace and he became poor, right? And um, he married twice, he had married twice. From his first wife, he had... Uh, his first daughter Zenobia, right? And from his next marriage, he had his next daughter Priscilla. So in a way, Zenobia and Priscilla, they are half-sisters. And they both are old Moody's daughters. So we learn this very late into the novel. Now we learn why old Moody is so curious about uh, Zenobia and Priscilla, right? And we also learn the real identity of Old Moody, whose name was uh, Fontelleroy. Next is now Coverdale. He goes back to Blithdale, right? And when he goes back to Blithdale, what he witnesses is that the community members, they are dressed in uh, dress like witches, fairies, okay, and some commune is going on, right? And he is like really surprised he finds all these things very strange and he started laughing at them right now this is the surface meaning when you are uh, studying this novel you should always remember how this novel uh, uh, in a wheeled manner attacks the transcendental values the transcendental uh, experimental way of life mm -hmm. and their fascination with creating a utopian ideal society so here when he is creating this seed where the farm members are dressed as witch, witches and fairies in a way he is expressing his uh, bewilderment his surprise at their way of life and the activities they engage in so he laughs at them and when he laughs at them they started running after him and in order to save his skin, he started running and he reaches Elliot's pulpit, which is, I have told you that it's a huge rock. Okay, he reaches there. Now, he finds Genobia, Hollingsworth and Priscilla there. Okay, these three people, they are already there. What are they doing there? Okay, so, you know, some kind of argument is going on between Genobia and Hollingsworth. And uh, this uh, Coverdale, he also reaches there. And now Zenobia, she accuses Hollingsworth of being heartless. She's really angry with him, right? And uh, Hollingsworth, he also becomes very angry at the charges which are being heaved against him by Zenobia. And then he orders Priscilla to, uh, you know, leave with him, right? Now, uh, Priscilla, she's really devoted to Zenobia. She is full of love for Zenobia right but Genovia, uh you know she feels she sees her as a rival because Genovia is very pride okay so she uh, sees Priscilla as her rival because Hollingsworth right although Hollingsworth favors Genovia more but he also seems attached to Priscilla and Priscilla obeys him she is very docile she doesn't question him she doesn't argue with him so when this argument takes place between Genovia and Hollingsworth Pris Hollingsworth get ang angry and he asks Priscilla to leave with him and they both leave. So this is really surprising that why Priscilla didn't stay with Genobia? Why did she leave with Hollingsworth? And finally, uh, when 
Genobia sees that Hollingsworth has left her and her sister has also left her so she started crying okay and uh, you know she tells Coverdale she asks him to tell Hollingsworth that he has murdered her and she stays there okay now later what happens is cover uh, we do not find Genobia anywhere and Coverdale you know uh, they launch a search for her so they go over to um, this Mr. Frost Foster and his wife and then they start searching for her and they found her drowned body near a water body they found her body and they got it out of the water and she has died okay so uh, this this when it with this with death of Genobia by drowning the events of the novel come to end there is no more action after it okay and then you know the novel leaves right into the present now because what Coverdale is narrating is the event of the past so now he writes about the present okay so he's uh, in that he mentions that he Coverdale himself has become very disappointed with his life right he has turned into a very listless insipid fellow and he uh, pays a visit to Hollingsworth because he has uh, now he does not hold any grudges against him so he vi visits Hollingsworth and uh, he finds that Hollingsworth although he wanted to do a lot he what Holl Hollingsworth had a mission he wanted to create a rehabilitation center for uh, pa uh, patients of anxiety right Me patients who had a lot of mental issues so he wanted to create a re uh, this rehabilitation center for them on Blithdale farm but he couldn't do any of that uh, possibly he was ruined by the death of Genobia and he is living a very insignificant life and Priscilla she still stays by his side she still stays with him and now towards the end of the novel Coverdale reveals that that I I myself was in love with Priscilla okay this he says towards the end of the novel we never discovered this right and now he's hopeless because he knows that uh, Priscilla will not leave the side of uh, Hollingsworth and uh, Hollingsworth himself uh, has nothing left in him after the death of Genovia and he does not have any hope of uh, receiving Priscilla's love because she will never leave side of Hollingsworth so with this the novel ends tell me have is the summary clear to you Clear, yeah, ma'am. What happened? You sound very, you sound listless. <laughs> your him uh, yourself like Coverdale. <laughs> no, I'm actually I'm not feeling very well today. That's why. Mm -hmm. Do take care, please. All right. So, yeah, uh, so we associate Nathaniel Hawthorne with dark romanticism, right? We associate him with dark romanticism right and see you discovered it for yourself it is it is titled Blithdale romance and what do what 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 do you witness in the end of the novel right do you find any ha happily ever after kind of a story you don't find that right all these characters they are psychologically very complex right they commit evil and they are guilt ridden and uh, those dark emotions they keep haunting them and there is no happily ever after for them right okay so that is why we associate him with dark romanticism okay and this novel it is a satire uh, it takes a satirical look at the transcendental movement prevalent at that time the time Nathaniel Hawthorne was writing okay so I mean you you don't realize how many questions you have covered in listening to the character summary and this discussion okay so this brings me to the end of this summary of this novel and um, I'll comment a little more about the uh, the imagery used in this novel see uh, in this novel because you won't be reading this novel uh, the symbolism or imagery of flower is used 
right if you look at the character of genobia in a way she stands for everything that uh, transcendental writers transcendental philosophers rejected because genobia she is a symbol of sensuousness she is a symbol of pleasure of life okay taking pride in life and its pleasure she is full of vitality and what happens to her what happens to her is she dies okay so a uh, for transcendental writer life and its pleasure they don't hold any meaning right and that is why they are quite withdrawn from it that, so uh, you, if you look at the name of the character coverdale okay it has covered uh, it, it's it's a deliberate um, this the the selection of this name is quite deliberate because he chooses to cover okay he chooses to withdraw when we think of whale it is a symbol of hiding it is a symbol of withdrawing from something okay so uh, through all these symbols and imagery you get to see how transcendental ideals are exposed the dis, uh, the disillusionment with the transcendental ideal is exposed in this novel by nathaniel hawthorne right because he himself was not champion of those ideals that is why he chose to depict them in this way right now any question for me will you be able to answer questions based on this let me ask you a few questions okay on my own first of all tell me who is the narrator of this work uh i think it's covered in it's yes. covered in <laughs> right yes and uh, temporarily right for a very brief period of time the narration switches okay and it goes to genobia and in that genobia writes about she writes uh, about the whale the lady so in that she says that priscilla is the uh, is the uh, whale the lady okay so she is just theorizing her views of uh the whale lady okay and the all the identity that is revealed towards the end of the novel but there is this chapter okay uh which in which uh, coverdale is not the narrator but who becomes the narrator genobia becomes the narrator and once she has uh, theorized uh, this uh once she has expressed her views about uh, the whale lady the narration switches back to goes back to coverdale ओके सो ये दो चीज़ें याद रखनी है कि कौन नरेटर है और ये जो स्विच होता है टेम्प्ररी स्विच रहता है नरेशन में उसमें कौन नरेटर बनता है जेनोबिया बनती है और उस नरेशन में वो शी राइट्स अबाउट शी टॉक्स अबाउट द वेल लेडी बिकॉज शी सस्पेक्ट्स दैट प्रिस्केला इज द वेल लेडी ओके एंड देन इट गोज बैक टू कवर डे ठीक है नेक्स्ट इज टेल मी the next question is the single exotic flower in genobia's hair what does it symbolize i told you i saw uh, showed you that image as well so what does that tell you bataya tha maine aapko that is a symbol of pride life and its vitality and its pleasure vitality pride right and, and she pride wears, yes pride and she wears a new flower every day in her hair but she wears just one flower agar a characteristic puchi jaye aapse genobia ki wo kya hai its pride theek hai kabhi kabhi is tarike ke question aate hain exam mein priscilla ke sath mein agar aap ek quality associate karenge to kya hai obedient demure docile okay as if she uh, has matlab she the world has lost all charm for her is tarike ka uska ek aura hai energy hai theek hai iske alawa hollingsworth kya hai hollingsworth bahut strong character hai theek hai bahut ambitious character hai hollingsworth kya karna chahta hai wo jo mentally challenged log hain jo anxious depressed log hain unke liye ek rehabilitation center kholna chahta hai bahut forcefully apne views ko rakhta hai bahut philosophical hai ठीक है बट ही कूडेंट अचीव ऑल दोज थिंग्स एंड जेनोबिया आपको पता ही है दैट ही वॉज फैसिनेटेड विथ जेनोबिया बट अल्टीमेटली 
यू नो ही कुडेंट रिस्पेक्ट इज जेनोबिया फॉर हु शी वॉज और उसको उसके मिशन में उसके वे ऑफ लाइफ में उसको एम्बिशन में हेल्प करते हैं करते जेनोबिया बिकेम वेरी इनसिपेड शी लॉस्ट और वाइटैलिटी राइट एंड ही टुक साइड ऑफ प्रिस्किला लेटर एंड विच लेड हर टू कमिट सुसाइड ठीक है आई होप अब मुझे नहीं लगता कि इसमें से कोई क्वेश्चन आएगा तो आप नहीं कर पाएंगे बताइए पब्लिक एटीन फिफ्टी टू में पब्लिश हुआ लोकेशन है ब्लिथडेल फार्म ठीक है किस पे बेस्ड है ट्रांसेंडेंटल uh, आइडियल्स को सटायर करता है और बॉस्टन के ब्रुक फार्म में खुद कुछ टाइम स्पेंड किया था नथेनियल हॉथोर ने और उसी से बे, उसी पर बेस्ड है ये कैरेक्टर्स मैंने सारे बता दिए हैं समरी पूरा आपको स्टेप बाय स्टेप एक्सप्लेन करिए सो दैट कि आपको कोई कन्फ्यूजन नहीं हो ठीक है अब आज आप क्या करेंगे एक छोटा सा होम असाइनमेंट है आपके लिए आज आप कुछ एम सी क्यूज अटैम्प्ट करेंगे ब्लिथडेल फार्म पर और आप नथेनियल हॉथॉन के बायोग्राफिकल स्केच को रिवाइज करेंगे उसका वीडियो अपलोड कर दिया है पी शेयर कर दिए ये पी मैं आज शेयर कर दूँगी गो ओवर इट वन मोर टाइम वीडियो आपका कल दिन तक अपलोड हो जाएगा यू कैन वॉच दैट गो ओवर दैट एंड वॉच इट ठीक है अब हम नेक्स्ट में क्या करने वाले हैं आपके दो मेजर नॉवल्स जो हैं वो कवर कर लिए हैं ठीक है अब हम स्कारलेट लेटर पढ़ेंगे और एक और नावल पढ़ेंगे वो दोनों एक ही लेक्चर में कवर होंगे आपके एंड बाकी जो उनके वर्क्स हैं उनको आई एल जस्ट टेल यू इन जस्ट वन लाइन एंड वी विल रैप अप नथैनियल हॉथॉन ठीक है तो इस बीच में इस पूरे वीक वीक में आपको फोकस करना है नथैनियल हॉथॉन पे जितने क्वेश्चन हो सके ब्लिथडेल रोमांस पे जितने क्वेश्चन हो सके वो करिए ठीक है थर्सडे को हम इसे कंप्लीट कर लेंगे कोई क्वेश्चन हो तो मुझे बताइए ठीक है रैप अप करें आज के सेशन को कोई फीडबैक मुझे देना है कुछ पूछना है आपको मुझसे प्लीज़ फील फ्री टू लेट मी नो आपकी जितनी भी क्लासेस होंगी वो यस पुष्पांजलि एक्चुअली आई हैव गोन थ्रू योर लास्ट लेक्चर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी कि लास्ट लेक्चर में आपने फोनशोर का पूरा डिटेल बताया था जस्ट uh, ऐसे ही बताया था ऊपर नहीं 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 No, क्योंकि ये फर्स्ट नॉवल है उनका फैन शॉ तो उसकी समरी और कैरेक्टर्स बताए थे इतने डिटेल में नहीं बताया था सारे नॉवल्स आपको इतने डिटेल में नहीं पढ़ने ये नॉवल आपको पूरे डिटेल में इसलिए पढ़ा है कि इम्पॉर्टेंट है दूसरा आपको मैं बताना चाह रही हूँ कि कोई भी नॉवल स्टडी करना है तो क्या अप्रोच होना चाहिए आपका ठीक है तो ये क्योंकि सस्पेंस भी है इसका बहुत लीनियर नरेटिव नहीं रहता है इसलिए मैंने आपको ये सेल्फ स्टडी के लिए नहीं दिया इसको पढ़ाया है प्रीवियस नावल में आपके नथेनियल हॉथॉन की पूरा बायोग्राफिकल स्केच मैंने बताया है क्या इन्फ्लुएंस रहे उनका पर्सनल बैकग्राउंड क्या उनका लिटरेरी बैकग्राउंड क्या इन्फ्लुएंस उन पर रहे अप टू हिज डेथ आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल दैट इंक्लूडिंग हिज शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड हिज नावल्स आई हैव जस्ट लिस्टेड ऑल हिज शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड नावल्स एंड आई आउटलाइनिंग द द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वंस ओके पुष्पांजलि थैंक यू प्लीज़ प्लीज़ गो ओवर इट अगर आप लोग इस तरीके से मिस करते चले जाएंगे ना तो फिर आपके लिए कवर कर पाना बहुत मुश्किल होगा क्योंकि नेट का सलेबस वास्ट है ठीक है तो प्लीज़ मिस मत आप करिए और राइट ओके मैम ठीक है तो आई होप कि जब मैं नेक्स्ट क्लास लूँ तब तक आपने नथैनियल हॉथॉन कवर कर लिया हो मैं किसी एक क्लास में आपका टेस्ट भी लूँगी आपको यू हैव टू बी ऑन योर टूस प्लीज़ अंडरस्टैंड दिस बहुत कॉम्प्लेसेंट ले करके आप अगर अगर बहुत कॉम्प्लेसेंट रहेंगे ना आप अभी तो लास्ट के मंथ्स में आपके ऊपर में बहुत प्रेशर आने वाला है मैं बता रही हूँ आपको राइट राइट एट द आउटसेट तो प्लीज़ कीप योर सेल्फ ऑन द टोस अभी ज़्यादा मेहनत लगा लीजिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ठीक है ओके कोई फीडबैक देना है मैम ये अच्छा अप्रोच है ठीक है हमको समझ में आ रहा है कुछ बताना है मुझे आपको नहीं मैम अच्छा है अप्रोच सही लग रहा है समझ में आ रहा है आप लोगों को आ रहा है बट मैम थोड़ा वहाँ पे हिंदी भी थोड़ा समझा दिया करो तो बेटर हो अच्छा अच्छा मुझे लगा आप इंग्लिश प्रेफर करेंगे आप इंग्लिश लिटरेचर के स्टूडेंट हैं आप प्राउडली हाँ मैम इतना कमान नहीं है मैम कि हम इतना अंडरस्टैंड इतने फास्टली कर सके अच्छा भी मैम अंडरस्टैंड करने की कोशिश करते हैं अच्छा ठीक है ठीक है रीटा मैंने आपका फीडबैक नोट कर लिया है मैं नेक्स्ट क्लास में थोड़ा हिंदी भी बोलूंगी ठीक है सो दैट कि आप जो है फॉलो कर पाए ठीक है अंजुम डॉक्टर मिश्रा 
आपको कुछ कहना है नो मैम एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर ओके डॉक्टर मिश्रा डॉक्टर मिश्रा ओके ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्लास में मिलते हैं और जो है आपके फीडबैक को इनकॉर्पोरेट करते हुए आई कंडक्ट माय नेक्स्ट सेशन लेट्स रैप इट अप थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन आई विल सी यू ऑन थर्सडे नो प्रॉब्लम ऑल राइट आई विल सी यू ऑन थर्सडे या थैंक यू वन थैंक यू मोस्ट वेलकम ओके थैंक यू मोस्ट वेलकम